Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends. I hope you're having a great day and a fabulous start to your weekend. My name is Teresa and I love all things makeup, beauty and skincare. So every weekend I like to hang out with you guys to discuss the new releases that we all collectively found quite interesting and to do that some of you send me DMs, you tag me and stuff. So for all of those who do that, thank you so much. Your names are being displayed right now. There would be no episode without you. I so appreciate it. I also want to say a massive thank you to my YouTube community community members. You're rather wonderful, rather excellent and uh, I again appreciate you very very much. Those of you who are my YouTube community members you know that there is a monthly kind of giveaway where I have like a box of goodies. I may have purchased extra stuff to pop, pop in there recently so we'll see. Anyways there is quite a few things to talk about so get your beverage of choice. Mine is tea. Are you that surprised and also look at this mug how cute is it? My students got me that, aren't they just? Like, that's millennial heart for you. Very, very cute. We'll start off first with some like really, ah, uh, news. Wicked Widow Beauty, I talked about them last week. They were doing their collection with The Crow. Oh my God, they put this over on their Instagram, but apparently their whole lipstick crate of stuff, 18 grand, $18,000 worth of products of their lipsticks were stolen. I'm gonna read it out to you now. Hi everyone, I always want to be completely honest and transparent. Unfortunately, all the lipstick packages worth over $18,000 were stolen yesterday. We've reported the incident to the police and have evidence regarding the theft. I've already placed an order today for replacement lipsticks, but there will be a delay. Therefore, the lipsticks will now be available for pre-order and arrive in three to four weeks. Collection boxes are not affected. How much? Does that suck? Because I was talking about those lipsticks last week and I thought that they were really, really interesting. Like I kind of love that they had those like gray tones and they were that beautiful red. That sucks so much for an indie brand to have that happen to them. Great that they're kind of already doing something on it and hopefully it doesn't affect them in that way. But yeah, that sucks so much. I will be talking about them later because we now know what the palette looks like. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. Let's start off with new, 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 new <laughs> makeup releases. And the first one, it, it, it's a leak. So you know, you know who it is. It's Natasha Denona. Right, we knew it was a leak. It's a whole thing. Basically what happened was it was leaked over on their website. It was there for a couple of hours. It was all over Reddit. People were like, oh my God, a few people actually managed to buy it and got their hands on it. Which I'm like, that's kind of amazing because I have found their shipping is terrible. It takes about three weeks to get to me. And I'm like, excuse me, how very dare you? Anyways, it's this Natasha Denona Golden Collection. There's an eyeshadow palette for $69, there's a golden glimmer gloss for $29, and there's a golden cheek trio for $55. We don't have an awful lot of information on it because obviously you can't see this on Sephora, you can't see it on Natasha Denona. So the pictures that I have are literally from those screen grabs that were initially seen. But what we can see from it is that the palette itself has a lot of the shades that were in the original gold palette that is now discontinued. I think it looks really pretty, $69, she's expensive, but I can see this being kind of, kind of perfect for summer in the sense that like a lot of people would wear these sort of tones. It is expensive, however, however, one of the things I really enjoy about Natasha Denona, or I think is very, very smart, is the fact that her packaging is quite unique and you can like pop out the shades so you could make your own sort of versatile palette, maybe blend this with like the bronze, the glam, a couple of different things, and I'm like, hmm. You could probably get your perfect palette out of that. You guys know, I'm a Natasha Denona ho. It's actually unhealthy, the amount of Natasha Denona stuff that I have. Like basically she just comes out with a release and I'm like, well that's very expensive. The watch is going on and I go and buy it anyway. I, it, I don't understand it. I do like this though. Do I think it is groundbreaking? No, because a big chunk of the shades are from the original palette, but I assume, and I know that's a big assumption, that she's maybe upgraded the formula a little bit because she's done a lot over the last while making her shadows and stuff like talc free, paraben free, etc. It's been a whole thing over the last while. So I kind of suspect she might have like upgraded the formula. There'll probably be some really interesting sort of finishes in there. Of course we have no swatches so that is me surely speculating. I'm also going to say that everything that I've said here take with a pinch of salt because I am also an affiliate with the brand. How dis 
disgusting. So if you use my code, you get 15% off and I do get a commission. It's just my name. There you go. It's down in the link. I like this. I do. And I do think I'll end up getting it because I am a collector. <laughs> it's such a healthy thing to do. Some people collect stamps, beanie babies, and I collect eyeshadow palettes and other makeup paraphernalia. We'll talk about the Golden Glimmer Gloss. That's $29. I am sorry, but what in all holy hell? $29 for the gloss. I mean, I don't know. They haven't given any information on it. Is it plumping? Is it what? Is there actual gold in there for it to warrant $29? You have indie brands out here giving you lip glosses for like $14. I'm pulling that out of my head because I remember Saints Angel Sinners did their collab with Calvin, MUA, Calvin Brockington, last week, and that was $14. And I'm like, I could have one Natasha Denona lip gloss, or I could have two Saints Angel Sinners lip glosses for the same price and save a dollar. <laughs> I kind of feel that with things like lip glosses, you can kind of go with a, like a less high brand, like you don't have to go with the money, you don't, like you don't have to go with the expensive ones. So for me, I don't really get that unless it has like, I don't know, peptides or something in it. I know she's been doing a lot of that recently of putting a lot of like skincare ingredients into it. Personally, I'm not gonna be spending $29 on a lip gloss. I nearly broke my heart by spending 19 euro on a peptide by Ulla Henriksen and I'm very annoyed that I actually really like it. I'm wearing it right now. But there you go. The other thing that they have is this Cheek Trio and that's $55, which is very expensive. And the thing that I'm a bit confused about here is it is a highlighter trio, but what person is using all three of these highlighters? Do you know what I mean? Like this is very MUA based, which is fine. Natasha Denona is an MUA. And if she's making stuff for that, I totally get it. But I think this shouldn't have been a trio. I think they could have had a trio option, Absolutely, but this should have been done singularly. Give me a single of each of those for like $18 or something like that. I am up for that. But if I got one of those, like only one of those would work for me. Uh, can you guess which one? It's not the middle or the one on the right hand side. So I just end up wasting a bunch of money. I hope they consider maybe changing that around, but I think it's a little bit unnecessary. But I did put this to you guys and eh, her stuff does okay. There are definitely some loyal followers, it's not just me. The palette did okay, 33% of you loved it, 53% said not for me, 14% said you were on a no or a low buy. When it came to the lip gloss, 11% of you loved it, 80% said not for me, and 9% said you were on a no or a low buy. When I showed you the Golden Cheek Trio, 16% of you loved it, 79% said not for me, and 5% of you said you were on a no or a low buy. Now we are going from one MUA to another. This is Danessa Myricks. Basically, this is over on the Sephora website right now. I, I know a few people actually managed to get their hands on it. They actually purchased it. <laughs> leak, 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 leak. Another leak, leak, leak. But it isn't over on Danessa Myricks' own website at the moment. In fact, I'm going to show you what is up on the Danessa Myricks site at the moment. And this is part of what I find quite compelling in that all that is said here is that Danessa wants to pay tribute to creativity, love, and the beauty of the LGBTQIA plus community and amplify the voices and stories of our queer DMB community, which I think is great. Love that. And to be fair, when she was promoting it, she included an awful lot of people from the community, a lot of gender diverse individuals, there was even a plus size model, which I love, so happy to see it. However, and I have gone everywhere. I even like commented on their stories, I commented on their Instagram, TikTok, etc. because I couldn't find any information. To date, I haven't seen anything that says that they're giving any money to any organizations. Again, I checked their website, I checked their newsletter, I've checked even their, their videos over on Instagram and there's no nothing there at the moment. I'm hoping that is an oversight and that they are doing something because you know my feeling on trying to profit off of a marginalized community. I really, I'm so annoyed on people trying to commercialize and profit off pride because I'm like, guys, 
Oh, that's not what Stonewall was all about. This is a bit whatever. Anyways, let's talk about the palette itself. It's the Love is Love palette at $65. And according to Sephora, it's an 11 shade multi-chrome all over face palette with four unique finishes designed for all skin tones and celebrates the LGBTQ plus community in all forms of love. Again, they're saying it's celebrating the community, but not that anything is going there. Anyways, I won't get into it. It says it's free of parabens, formaldehyde, all of these different things. And it's gluten and cruelty free so here's the thing part of what gets me is all of these are like different grams because they're different sizes so for example the shade embrace ally and truth are all 1.2 grams of shadows then we have two grams of shadows in the shades freedom and worthy then there's 1.8 grams of dream but they've put dream as being one shadow even though there's five in it so 1.8 divided by five that's 0.36 grams yeah and and uh, 0 0.8 gram of shadows in Limitless. Oh my God. So that's $65 for 10.2 grams of product. Quite a bit. And like, I saw a comment, which my friend Daniela sent me and it was like, yes, I would like some eyeshadow with a side of cardboard because there is so much wasted space in this. It drives me absolutely bananas. Could you get any more cliche than having a rainbow in a pride palette? No, not really. But there you go. The layout drives me nuts. I said before that it reminded me very much of the Urban Decay collaboration with Kristen Leanne from way back in, I want to say 2018, 2019. My God, that is quite some time ago. I abhor <laughs> when there's different sizes of shades. It drives me nuts. And this is limited edition. Look, the shades themselves look fine. I really like Danessa's formula. I think the swatches look really pretty. Seeing them on the face, they look gorgeous. I do appreciate the fact that this is a multi-use face palette. I am all for that. And Danessa is a big fan of all of that sort of thing. So I hugely, hugely appreciate that. However, the layout of this palette drives me nuts. I, and here's the thing, like even the dream shade, which is five shades in one, there's no barrier between them. It feels like this was not created by an MUA because there's nothing about this that kind of speaks to an MUA sensibilities. Right, you can't like dip into that very easily. And I find personally with these multi-crumbs, you're actually better off applying with a finger, with a spatula, with something like silicone based. Um, and that's gonna be very difficult to get into because they are tiny, teeny, tiny little pans and you're gonna have a load of spillover. And hell, you don't have a lot of product in that. You really, really don't. I get that obviously they've kind of made it so that the shades that are a little bit more like for the face are bigger. But man, this is, this is not great. And a few people did point out to me, and I do agree, that if you have any of the light works, the three, the four, the five, etc., you probably don't need this. And I am inclined to agree. I just I find this a difficult one. And I generally like Danessa's stuff. You know, there's one or two exceptions, but like for me, ooh, it hurts my brain. I just can't. I like, um, order and a little bit of understanding in these sort of things, but this is so mishmashed. I, I feel like Danessa walked out of the building and somebody else took over because this does not feel very coherent and cohesive and in line with an MUA. Very, very strange. Anyways, when I put it to you guys, 6% of you loved it, 29% said not for me, and 65% said that the layout hurts my brain, and I agree. Then we have Melt Cosmetics, and this is their melted liquid eyeshadow. They've never really had a liquid eyeshadow before, at least to the best of my knowledge. They've had like some cream shadows, etc. So they came out with six shades. They are available now. They're $24 each. They come in the shades Ultra White Vanilla, Fresh Nudist, Double Shot, and Night Swim. But if you you wanted all six of them you can bundle them together for $95 so you are actually saving quite a bit because if you've got each of them singularly that's $144 so you are saving $49 that's basically like six for the price of four that's pretty good that's not bad at all right I am interested in this because I have said that it can be used as a liquid eyeshadow but also as a base as a base to your eyeshadow if you know me I am always looking for like a white eyeshadow base because I 
really like to have that like accentuate colors and I think they are smart to not only have a white but they have a black in there because obviously black is a fantastic one to have as well but they also have like the much more kind of traditional brownie neutrally ones and they do look very very nice now I had originally said hey I'm gonna wait until it comes to beauty bay I don't wish to speak about this. No, I will, I'll speak about it. Um, I got an email from Melt Cosmetics being like, oh, it's our 11th birthday, so we're having a sale. And oh my God, guys, the sale is really good. It was like, so if you get two items, it's 20% off. If you get three items, it's 30% off. If you get five items, there's 50% off. So I obviously bought like six items. Now the new items weren't included. So I ended up getting one of these. It was the ultra white and a bunch of other things. Cause I was like, sale, sale, sale. So. I have a whole bunch of Melt cosmetic stuff coming my, my way because I'm apparently really, really silly. I do think that this is genuinely quite interesting. Is this new? Is this novel? No, it's not. Brands have been doing this for years, but Melt haven't. And I want to see them changing. I want to see them having new products, new sort of uh, formulations, etc. Because I've said this before, I feel like out of all of their products, their eyeshadows are the weakest. There, I said it. Come at me. Uh, please don't actually, because um, I'm not very good with confrontation or conflict. <laughs> Anyways, I think it's interesting. I think $24 is pricey enough. You know, it is pricey. I'm interested though. I'm stupid and I got it. So I will be trying that out. I did have a lot of people saying to me in my stories when I put this to you guys, like, I thought these were concealers and I can kind of, I can kind of see that. And it's kind of funny that we haven't seen concealers from Melt yet. I say yet, I feel like they'll get there at some point, but kind of funny that as an established brand, they haven't gone there and yet the likes of Made by Mitchell have which is interesting, you know, they're pipped to the post, etc. Yeah, I thought this was interesting, but you guys were not in agreement and that's fine. We don't have to have a consensus here. 22% of you loved it, 71% said not for me and 7% said you're on a no or a low buy. Then we had She Glam who came out with their Rick and Morty collection. It just kind of dropped. There was no like real pomp and ceremony to it. It was just there and they're quite a bit in this. There's the Meaninglessness of Life palette for $14.99, the Family Counseling Lip Gloss Set, $35.99 for all five or it's much cheaper if you get the five of them singularly for $6.49 each. They need to talk to Melt. Melt does actual bundles. There's the Mr. Sanchez Cream Blush for $7.49, the Never Ricking Morty Setting Powder for $10.49, Mr. Me Seek Beauty Sponge for $2.29, the Pickle Rick Setting Spray for $7.49, and the Hand Mirror for $6.49. But you can bundle it all together and get a free like headband and a little introduction card for $105.99. Now, I was very confused when I was reading some of the names, like things like Never Ricking Morty Setting Powder, because I was like what oh is my autism autisming hard today because that does not make sense I don't what are these words like I was staring at it for a really long time and then a friend of mine James very kindly messaged me and he was like no, no that's actually like that's part of franchise books like they do that and I was like ah okay that that's cool and I appreciate the fact that they've obviously taken something from the franchise and they've kind of incorporated this into it so I think that's done really really well now as I said before I haven't watched the franchise it just doesn't like kind of thing of grand we don't have to like get annoyed about it but I feel like this is done really well like even the lip glosses like the components on them very very cool I'm gonna start by talking about the eyeshadow palette first it's $14.99 as I said this is like almost in competition with the glam light one which came out about 10 months ago and there's some similarities because obviously if you're taking inspiration from the IP you're gonna have a little bit of crossover but I do still feel like this is distinct enough and the formula is not going to be as good as the glam light one let's be a hundred percent honest do I think it's going to be worth the money yeah I mean $15 it's $14.99 it's pretty decent I find the she glam shadows to be kind of hit or miss the matte can be very pigmented but then sometimes they can be really really chalky there's definitely some that are better than others like I found like even when I was going through the Zodiac collection not all of them were made equally some had fantastic blendable shadows and then others were like a hot mess <laughs> so you know but I feel like people who are getting this aren't going to be like I want it to be amazing amazing they're probably just going to want to collect it which you know what totally fine I get it some of these colours I'm like I don't really know how I'd work with them together the colour story is a little bit tricky for me but there you go they've gone very matte heavy they're 
there isn't a lot of shimmers, which I kind of think is smart because their shimmer formula is okay, but it's not the absolute best. And they have sort of some marbled shades in there, but obviously they've swatched them out, so there you go. It's fine, you know, $14.99, I'm not gonna get annoyed. I wanna talk about those lip glosses because I do actually think they're kind of cool. My friend Sue messaged me and she was like, it's like they have like little Pez dispenser heads. And I was like, that's what it is. That's what it looks like. And I actually think that looks really cool, really kitschy. The fact that it's $6.49 per lip gloss, I think that's actually pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of these are fairly generic shades. They're very wearable. I think the shade Rick is the most interesting. The fact that it has like that bluey tinge. Very, very nice. They've obviously shown it as well on the lips and they look quite nice, I have to say. I am intrigued. Will I necessarily go and get them? No, because I don't need them. But I think actually, you know, they've done pretty well. I'm wondering if like the set is a bit more because it comes, you're paying more for the box, which I'm like, that is one expensive box. You're paying an extra $2.50 for that. Like my God, I mean, don't get me wrong. My cats love a good box, but like, I don't think they're that choosy on that sort of thing. They then have that never ricking Morty setting powder. That's so hard to say. But basically, they've kind of shown it over on the website and they've shown that it's like waterproof it's transfer proof oil control blah 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 blah, blah. I'm, I'm kind of interested in that I think it's it's kind of interesting they do say to please store it at room temperature which fair enough because it will prevent the Morty design from fading which is the other thing that I'm like how do they do that how do they do that and not have that like impact the pigment kind of cool kind of cool yeah I, I think that's interesting they also then have that sort of setting spray there's apparently cucumber extract in it so I'm kind of wondering if it's scented I would imagine there probably is a little bit of a scent to it anyways but there's polyester 5 which kind of is one of those ingredients that does kind of make that layer which locks in your makeup it's not a very expensive ingredient so that's part of why it's in there it's the second ingredient on the ingredient list the components though oh my god they've done really really well like that does look really really cool it is apparently free from dyes parabens mineral oils and alcohol so that's quite interesting there's also the little beauty sponge. I mean, oh my God, it looks terrified. <laughs> which fair it's like no please don't put foundation on me I mean it's two dollars 29 it's not bad at all oh my god the one that I think is really really cool though is that brain blush thing because that is so weird the component that it comes in is so big it's so clunky I'd have no idea how to store it but my goodness is that ever done well like you have to admit right that is packaging 10 out of 10 it goes with the IEP it's really really well done a nightmare to store but it looks so cool. I'd almost be afraid to like use it because I wouldn't want to like get rid of the brain imprint. Like that looks quite cool. When I was looking at the ingredients on this, there's no talc in that blush, by the way. So I think that's quite interesting. And it apparently gives you like a radiant sort of a finish. So a little bit of like a glowy blush. It looks really pretty. Now I couldn't find any swatches of it like on the arm or whatever. They've just shown it on like the finger, sort of on the face, but it's hard to see with the watermarks. But I think that's pretty good. It's like $6.49, so not bad at all. And the hand, mirror like that's adorable that's really cute I think actually in all this is a pretty decent collection there's nothing in it that I'm going to get because I don't need anything there's a lot of things that I don't need but I feel like in general this was executed really well and I had a lot of people kind of saying like yes this makes a lot of sense with the IP so for that, I'm like, well done. And when I put it to you guys, the eyeshadow palette did okay. 11% of you loved it. The mirror did similarly well. 11% of you loved it. The lip glosses then, I put a couple of options to you. 2% love it. 14% said I like some of it. 63% said not for me. And then 21% of you said, why does the bundle cost more? Thank you. Thank you. I, I need questions. I need that answered. The setting spray did okay. 22% of you loved it. 18% of you loved the sponge. 18% of you loved the setting powder. And the brain blush I was surprised it didn't do better 12% of you loved it and now we're on to content that I didn't manage to get to you during the week and we're back to Wicked Widow Beauty so as I said unfortunately their lipsticks got stolen however they have also shown us the crow eyeshadow palette and I have to say it's looking really nice it's exactly what you would expect there's reds there's greys there's blacks so there's eight matte shades one shimmer shade three multi-chromes and four duo chromes and it's $60 I have to say that's pretty darn good. As I'm filming, this is available
available now and part of why this occurred was that the film The Crow is 30 years old. 30. I mean that is incredible to think of and can I just say the swatches that they've shown look really really nice. This is such a great gothic sort of a palette and I feel like the first thing that I thought of was the Glam Light Chucky palette but I feel like this is actually kind of brighter in ways. Like the Glam Light one was so toned down but this kind of has a uh, very bright pops of red in the palette but that they can be mixed and combined in such a way that gives you a darker combination so I think that's actually really really cool that silver swatch oh that is looking nice they've obviously got the crow then embossed on all the pans I think that's done really well $60 for an indie brand, that's not bad at all. I wish them the best of luck, particularly after having their stuff stolen. Like that sucks so, so much. I mean, I like the mix here in terms of like the fact that it's half mattes and then half like shimmer shades. You know I've talked about this before. You need at least half of your shadows to be matte for me. <laughs> that's how I am. And the fact that they've got three multi-chromes and two duo chromes in there for $60, that's pretty good because you have to remember as well as paying extra for things like duochromes, multichromes because they are a little bit more expensive to formulate. They were also paying for the IP. So the uh, licensing of that, and um, I would suspect that cost a pretty penny. So keeping the price down to $60 isn't bad at all. I think it's actually done pretty darn well. Do I need it? No. No, I can dupe little bits of this, not out of all one palette, but out of a couple of other things. But in all, I feel like this has done very, very well. I also love that it links in with the lipsticks that I showed you last week and with that strange highlighter duo. I'm still confused about that. But it all kind of links together really well in a very cohesive way. Then we have Nabla Cosmetics and this is their close-up blurring powder blushes and there's six shades and they're normally meant to be 23 euro but when I looked at them today, Friday, on their website they're down to 18 euro 40 and oh my god they look so pretty. There's six shades, there's Petite, Paradise, Lucky Rose, Enigma, Endorphin and Satisfaction. What annoys me is of course I've said this a million times and I will say it a million times more. These are no longer available on Beauty Bay so you have to buy per, uh, like directly from their website which is very annoying so I had to go onto their Italian website I do not speak Italian unfortunately I had to do uh, a Google Translate so bear with me if some of this is wrong they say close-up blurring powder enhances the cheeks with a diffused touch of color with a matte soft focus and smoothing finish its silky and light texture melts onto the skin in absolute comfort that lasts for a second skin effect very easy to blend it gives a natural fresh and ethereal effect with my Modulable intensity? I don't know if that's a word. Close up blurring powder blush, close up proof benefits. New generation natural matte finish, smoothing and uniform effect, impalpable texture with a creamy touch, suitable for all skin types, absolute comfort with a second skin effect that lasts for a long time, buildable coverage, and it's simple to apply and blend. Oh, those colours. Do you know what I like? And you're gonna, I think you're gonna be surprised. That shade satisfaction, I love that that is like a proper, like almost bronzy neutral blush. Oh, I think that. That is very very pretty the shade petite beautiful enigma beautiful to be fair I think all of these are gorgeous and for 18 euro 40 each I won't lie I did think about popping them into my basket but I have like two three drawers three drawers of blushes that's too many blushes she said knowing that she will get more blushes because she's an idiot that's too many blushes so I was like come on now Teresa pop yourself on you don't need more blushes but my goodness they're really pretty that red toned one that is gorgeous gorgeous very very pretty it's called endorphin I do feel like they could probably pop in some like deeper shades in here but endorphin is probably going to look really really pretty on like a deeper skin tone that shade enigma the one at the top right hand corner oh my god I love the mauvey almost grey tone to that I'd probably look like a corpse in it but oh, I think it's so so pretty they've done this really really well and anything that I've ever tried from Nabla I've really really enjoyed like their quality is so so good I haven't bought anything from them in a long time partly because they're harder to get now but as I said I do like their quality I think they're really really good I feel like they should have like a bundle <laughs> <laughs> you should have a bundle sale of these because I'm greedy and if you wanted to get all six you should be able to get like them for like a cheaper price but I mean 18 euro 40 per they're normally meant to be 23 because there's 20% off that's 
that's not bad for a blush or maybe it's just me but I think that looks really really pretty. The very last thing that I'm going to talk about is this new brand. It's called Mad Witch Cosmetics and they have introduced their first palette and it's called Chance. It's a 12 pan so there's six dual chromes and six mattes. It's going to be $49 but apparently you can use the code Mad Witch for 10% off and that's launching today as I'm filming. Oh I think this is actually kind of interesting because right the two kind of columns in the middle are almost like your one and done very easy everyday palette and then over on the left and the right hand side then do you have those fabulous little pops this is such a great little introductory palette I think for people who are a little bit frightened of color but they want to try something a little bit different like can you imagine right you use those kind of matte shades do a really nice smoky eye and then just pop a little bit of that pink on the inner corner that would look so, so cute. Obviously, a lot of these things you could use as multi-use. I'd say probably that shade Promise would look really interesting as a highlighter. The swatches look very pretty as well. Um, It does look like maybe they're not as true to pan, you know, that you can shear them out. I think this is a really great little introductory palette for somebody who is a bit nervous of colour but wants to try it. Yeah, the other thing... I have to talk about <laughs> is the mirror. Look at how adorable that is. So there's no price on this yet, but look at it. It's a little cat mirror. Look at the little handle down at the bottom. It's a little paw, a little paw. Shut up. Do I need another mirror? No, I have a million mirrors, but I think that's so cute. Very, very cute. So Mad Witch Cosmetics Celestial Collective. I think this is a pretty decent first launch. It's quite safe. But I think there's definitely a market there for it. The price is not bad. I mean, $44 essentially if you're using the code for the eyeshadow palette. Don't know how much the, the mirror is, but that's quite cute. I would be the idiot who'd be like, I'll pop this in. <laughs> I do think it looks really, really cute. Not a bad little launch to start off with. But my gorgeous friends, that's it. That's the end of this week's episode. I did keep it quite brief because... Honestly, these are a pain to edit and I find it's easier if I snap through it. But I do have my favourite comment and this is from my Noshalot who said, Watching you in your home country on train from Dublin to Kilkenny, you live in such a beautiful country. Had a great day in Dublin yesterday. I am so glad you enjoyed yourself while you were here. I don't live that far from Kilkenny. I'm like the next county over. So it was very cool knowing that you were in my country and that you were enjoying it. You also got some nice weather while you were here. You also got some rain too, which... You know, accurate. It's a very Irish sort of an experience. Uh, but my gorgeous friends, that's it. Um, that's the end of this video. I do have a swatching Sundays coming tomorrow. I've been very good, and I found the one day where we had a little bit of sunshine and I ran outside. So we do have some swatches, and I want to know down below what you guys think. I have as my swatching Sundays for tomorrow. Little hint: it's actually three palettes. That one, three palettes, because I'm trying to make up for lost time because I was very naughty and stopped posting those. But my gorgeous friends, that's it. That's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Do please like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell just because it's polite. And do please share because sharing is caring, except of course for STDs, in which case, just wrap it up. Don't be gross, but that's it. That's the end of this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.